This is Gary Parr. It's Fiber Talk, and we're at Sassy Jack's for the Bathia workshop with Nicola Parkman. And I thought it would be interesting for people to see all the different setups that uh, the class members are using to hold their doodle cloth. The whole class is, we don't actually stitch Bathia. We're stitching the, uh, using doodle, doodle cloth, learning different stitches and, and how to put them together. And, um, uh, but anyway, there's, there's a, a room, there's nine, uh, what, uh, 30 people in the room and there's probably 20 different setups in here one way or another. So I thought it'd be interesting to look at them. Uh, this one is mine. This is my case creation um, lap stand and uh, just a hoop. Most of us are using hoops. Some are on scroll, for scroll frames. But uh, that's what I'm using. And then uh, that uh, daylight magnifier that uh, I've talked about and uh, Vaughn and I have talked about a couple of times. And that um, absolutely one of my favorites. So that's really good. So that, uh, that one, a lot of people are using this hoop and uh, fanny stand arrangement with a hoop on it. That's uh, a lot of people using that. This one here with the little LED clip on and magnifier clip on. And uh, uh, so several people are using that. Here's another version of that clamped to the table, that uh, particular product don't know the name of it. Anyway, it comes with a couple of different clamps, so you can put it on the table. And then this is uh, um, actually Nicola's stand, but this is the new version from the uh, person who makes the uh, needle needs, the um, uh, scroll frames, Millennium scroll frames and stands. This is the new version. Nicola's done a video about this, that uh, it's a lap stand or, or it can be a table stand. This is the shorter rise units and then there are longer ones for putting in the lap to get it up to you. So that's that one. And then here's, here's someone using a roller frame, the uh, roller frame scroll frame that um, uh, Vanna has talked about and has a video about. And then she has it on a similar design of, of stand that her husband made. And you can see that the, those slide in and out, the, up, the uprights slide in and out, but also can swivel around so she can put a pretty long a set of scroll frames on, but she's using that roller frame, and that's the one that uh, you you clamp the you clamp the two pieces together, and there's uh, tacks in there that hold your 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 cloth, and so that works really well for her there, and so she's been using that. Here's a, a more conventional scroll frame. Looks like she has some kind of a um, shelf liner in with. Um, Looks like Q-snap, this is quite inventive. Q-snaps and shelf liner to hold it. So that's, uh, she got that set up. And then she's using the case stand, case creation uh, lap stand, the bigger one. Mine is the uh, middle sized one. And then this is the bigger one that will slide in and out so you can deal with uh, longer pieces if you want. And um, uh, so that, that one, here's more of, of this arrangement. Uh, several people. Now this one, I don't know this brand here, but uh, obviously similar design to the Case Creation lap stand. And you can see those, uh, those lights. That's what's so nice about them is they fold up like that. A magnifier and lamp folds up flat like that. And uh, that's what's so nice about them. But uh, a similar design to the Case Creation arrangement. And Here's another, uh, another case creation lap stand. And then now this one is a scroll frame, a different, I can't tell what design that is, but that's a, a different uh, scroll frame and obviously can be at a couple of heights and then has a base that can slide in and out. You can see that again to accommodate uh, different widths of scroll rods, but that's, uh, that's quite creative. Then. Here's one where she has, she has the, uh, the, the wooden stand. I don't know what brand it is, but there are several variations of that wooden stand with a clamp on it. And hers are obviously quite adjustable. That's quite handy. Mine does not have all those adjustments there for height and angle, which is quite nice. But uh, she uses that one. And then 
We come way over here. These two are from Artisan Design, the Elan Artisan Design laptop frames, or yeah, laptop frames, and uh, two ladies here have them. And uh, this one, she says she's had 25 years or so. We looked up the price, they were about 80 bucks. And uh, she just loves it. She said it's just been terrific. And the nice thing about this, she was showing me that the arm and the clamp uh, come off, obviously. And then there's a, a way you can clamp them and, and attach them underneath the uh, platform. So everything is, is flat, relatively flat, and goes in a suitcase quite nicely. But she says that that has been, what, 25 years, so still quite durable for her and uh, uh, working out very well. But uh, they both were very happy with those. And then, let's see, more of that. Then here's, here's the Millennium Frame. This one is the, the full Millennium Frame. Uh, looks like uh, 24, 30 inch wide. And then she has that on the, the uh, needle needs necessary uh, floor stand. And of course this is, uh, is, is a treat to own this thing, beautifully designed and built. And you know, every, every time one of these comes up we have the long discussions about how quickly or, or slowly you can get one of these things. But uh, she has the whole, the whole setup and I think I can just safely lift this off. And you can see that uh, rests on there, the, the scroll frame rests on there, has full height adjustment, the whole bit. So these are, are really nice hooks on the end to hang things and a uh, very nice thing here. And then this is not, this is a millennium frame, maybe this is an older design, though it doesn't have the label on it, but um, she has a millennium frame on it and then um, uh, similar to the one that Nicola has, but it looks like this is someone else has made this one. So same kind of design, yeah, because of the knobs. So same kind of design, just uh, same basic thing. And it looks like, that. yeah, that's a metal track he's got in there. So whoever designed that put a metal track that, that in there and put a metal track in for things to slide in and out. So that's, that's a nice, uh, nice design there. And that's really it. So that's, um, that's just a, a rundown of what people are using. And of course, everybody has their own version of magnifier and um, light and this room that uh, Kim Young has here at Sassy Jack's upstairs in the store that she shares with the uh, quilt shop is, uh, is just beautiful. There's so many windows and, and light and the uh, air in here is, is perfect and uh, all kinds of room. I mean, there's 30 people in here and obviously there's enough room over there she could put another, uh, another 10 people maybe so you could have 40 people in here quite comfortably. There's a lot of room. So it's just been a beautiful place to have a class in addition to um, uh, being in a great town and, and a great store, but um, just, just terrific. And then, so 30 people here, so it'll be 90 people over the next six days uh, doing this Bathia class with Nicola, but um, all, all have their own, their own way of holding their hoops or, or scroll frames or whatever it is and getting their stitching done. So I thought that would be interesting.